Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that setup and how-to for the game Furnace. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right into my afterthoughts, starting with the components of the game. It's when if you guys saw my unboxing video, it's it's a card game at its core. So really, there isn't too much to the uh, the components, but the cards are nice. The tokens and resources are all you know nice wood. So everything is is pretty well put together. So I've got no complaints about that. And even the box does have a um, have a vac tray in there to keep things relatively organized. So onto the gameplay mechanics. So this one w for me was really fun and, and enjoyable for uh, for a small engine builder style game because that resource management aspect and and, and I say that because you don't want to end the game with an abundance of resources. It means that you sort of poorly manage your 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 production line. If, so you've got excess stuff and you know there's really nowhere to export your goods to uh, in in this sort of age of, of the economy so you have to do it yourself so you know that that management of the resources as you're building up the engine is is really interesting and I, and I thoroughly enjoyed this uh, mechanic of the game because if you end the game with only a few resources you probably did a great job in a few of our playthroughs um, i did have some table mates that ended up with almost an entire handful of resources because when they were going for the auctions and trying to get the right cards i don't know if it was just poor planning or, or what but they just didn't have the right cards to sell off the resources that was part of their actual production so Keep that in mind for, for this one as you are, are strategizing and, and trying to figure out which one you want to place your four disc on because that's going to kind of dictate which card you're almost guaranteed or really guaranteed to acquire and then that's going to really mandate how you're able to sell future goods because to sell goods it's on the, the upgrade so you really got to pay attention to how you're able to, uh, to sort of upgrade. So why is uh, is Furnace a game you may want to add into your collection? Well, because this one plays very quickly. And and even at, at four player, I don't know if we ever actually ran up to the, the 60 minute uh, limit on the box. And, and this is very uncommon. If, if a box says 60 minutes on the top side, I will generally pad an extra hour on top of that uh, just for good measure. But this one was it was very straightforward and yeah there's a lot to uh, to the strategy of it and you know figuring out which card is going to be the right one but I really do like that aspect of, of having a, a very strategic engine builder a little bit of luck because you know you gotta hope you get the cards that you want um, and, and it plays like I said uh, in under an hour even at a four player count uh, the two player count uh, definitely plays in in 30 minutes or less and in fact at two players man I almost feel like there <laughs> there needed to be an extra round almost because that fourth round gone in an instant so why is this a game you may not want to add to your collection well um, if you're going to play this for two players, uh, in, and, and I played this one actually more with two players than with four, so at two players, that ghost player is very interesting because it, if that roll of the die basically uh, somehow managed to screw the same player every round without fail it was it was almost as though the the die knew what it was doing um so that can be frustrating if you're going for a strategy and then ghost player comes in and and on that final roll you know that four disc is going to go somewhere and for whatever reason it just kept falling on the same player so a player who might have otherwise gotten uh, a card with a, a number three disc will end up like say losing that card or, or, or what have you so in all of my two player sessions one or the other players <laughs> player seemed to amass cards in, in much swifter fashion thus kind of putting their production line more ahead and it's kind of hard to come back from that so bear that in mind uh, for a two-player game of why you may not want to add it to your collection. Another reason I, on, on the higher play count why you may not want to add it to your collection though is 
you know, look, the, the strategy can be involved uh, and, and at times even a little bit daunting to, to truly make sense of the right resources and, and such. So not that it's overly complex, but yeah, it may not be for, for everyone. So just gauge your, your table mates uh, as best as you can. So that'll do it for, for this one, guys. I Myself, I really enjoyed Furnace and I'm, I'm happy to add it to the collection. Um, as I mentioned, I, I saw this one at Gen Con, um, I, I think it was 2020 or whatever, you know, had a really nice showing. I didn't pick it up, I kept it on my radar, finally got it uh, on sale, picked it up, really, really enjoyed this one. So my, my personal recommendation is, you know, I can get it. Uh, otherwise, if you have any questions about this game, please leave a comment down below. Happy to answer them as best that I can. If you've enjoyed the video, I do appreciate the support. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, everyone, until next time, thanks so much for watching.